up? It's Shay, and today I want to tell you guys about how I told my mom that I have a girlfriend. It's still kind of insane to me that I did that, uh, but I want to tell you guys how it went down. So as you guys know, I've kind of been going with the attitude inoculation method of coming out to my mom. I just kind of like made the first video, if you haven't seen it. I made it telling her that I wasn't really interested in dating guys and I was kind of hoping that she'd ask questions and as far as she pushed, that's as far as I would answer and, you know, let that be it until she asked questions again. Uh, but she didn't ask questions again because she's a very, like, chill type of person. She's like, if you want to talk to me, I'm here. If not, I'm not gonna pry. That's just who she is as a person. So, it came time that I was like, okay, I don't think this is overwhelming you. I just don't think you're asking because you're not really thinking about it. And if you are thinking about it, you're waiting for me. So we went out to dinner and we're sitting at the table and she starts bringing up this basketball player guy that she's been saying she's wanted me to marry for the past like year or so. So she's, she brings this guy up and I'm like, mom, I told you I'm not really interested in guys. And she goes, well, yeah, but like, not right now. And I was like, no, like not ever. She was like, well, what do you mean not ever? And I was like, you know, I don't really like guys. She was like, oh, well, who do you like? And I was like, the people who aren't guys, <laughs> you know, because saying girls in that moment was so overwhelming and I couldn't get it out of my face. <laughs> like I couldn't make the word happen. But she was like, yeah, well, you know, you, you never know who you might like. You know, you dated this person and that person. And I was like, yeah, well, like I said before, I dated those people because I wanted it to work out so you guys wouldn't be disappointed. And she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, are you saying that you'll never date a guy, you know, whatever? And I was like, well, it's not that I'd never date a guy like I would rule it out, but it's more like a, I don't see myself ever having the capacity to love a guy in a way that would make dating a guy beneficial. So after that, we started talking about labels. She was like, well, what, what does that mean? And I was like, well, I identify as demisexual homoromantic. And she was like, what is that? I was like, well, the demisexual means that I'm not attracted to anyone physically. So I'm not ruling guys out because I'm not physically attracted to them. I'm not physically attracted to much of anyone until I really get to know them and then I develop romantic feelings for them. She was like, okay, so why couldn't that happen with a guy? And I was like, well, that's where the homoromantic part comes in. I only am able to form those strong romantic connections with women. So I'm only able to become attracted to women in a way that would eventually lead to dating and so forth and so on. She was like, oh, okay. She was like, well, I don't look at people and think that they're immediately attractive either. Does that mean I'm, what is it, demi something or another? And I was like, well, yeah, it could. Um, so the more we talked about it, the more it seemed like I got the demisexual part, like I inherited that from my mother, which is hilarious, even though she's very hetero, very hetero. But it was, it was just kind of cool to see that her experience with attraction is similar to mine. So we ended dinner and we talked a lot about labels and she was like, what about that pan thing? You know, I heard that uh, some singer, I think Janelle Monae, she was like, she's pan something. And I was like, yeah, that means that, you know, she's attracted to anyone regardless of their gender expression or gender identity. And she goes, oh, okay. So that's, that's different than what you are. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. I also have a friend who's pansexual. So I was like, oh, you know, this guy, he's pansexual too. And she goes, oh, I get it. Because he was dating a girl and then he was, now he's engaged to a guy and I was confused and I was like, yeah, you know, people like more than one type of person. It's normal, it's natural. She was like, okay, all right, I get that. Uh, so we leave dinner and we go to get in the car and my car's parked right next to her. So I put down the window and I was like, hey, have you been overloaded with information or can you handle one more piece? She goes, what, what is it? And I was like, I'm dating someone. <laughs> she was like, what? And I was like, yeah. And I was surprised that she said what because I was expecting her to have already known and been like, yeah, duh, I know that already. Um, but she wasn't. She was like, what, who? And I was like, I'll give you three guesses. And she, she guessed, she figured out who it was. And I was like, I assumed that you would have already known that. And she goes, no, I mean, you didn't tell me anything was going on, so I didn't assume anything was going on. And I was like, yeah, well, you know, that's a thing. 
She was like, how long has that been going on? And I was like, well, four years. Four years, you know, and that, that threw her through a loop. Um, but she was like, well, okay, um, if you're happy. Okay, just don't do anything dangerous, you know, because living near the South, it's kind of a dangerous environment sometimes for people like us. But she was totally chill about the whole thing. Uh, so the next time she and my girlfriend were in the same room, it was a little uh, weird. <laughs> it was just like, oh, she knows. She knows. Uh, but it was fine. It was, it was cool. She acted normal. Uh, my girlfriend acted normal. And it was, it was all good. It was all chill. My mom, she's a pretty easygoing person. She's like, I mean, you live your life, <laughs> you know? Um, she asked me about like how I fit all this in with my biblical beliefs and I told her, um, and she was like, wow, that, okay, yep. If God's cool and you're cool and she's cool, I'm cool, <laughs> you know? And I was just like, thanks, you are the bomb diggity. So it was just, it was just a really cool time uh, for us. So now, now, my my girlfriend and I have another another person in our corner, which is really cool because we're not really out to many people at all, and I don't really mind that. It's it's kind of nice. It's kind of intimate, you know. All right, guys, that's all I really had to say. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Twitter account. Come hang out. And I'll be talking to you so, so soon. All right? Bye.